Hi there, this is Ideas on Truth and I'm Lisa Taylor and I wanted to tell you a little story. Um, I was, I got a communication from somebody yesterday who was asking me what my fees are as a spiritual practitioner. So I was emailing back and letting her know what my fees were. And she was on a bit of a budget and, you know, was wondering if she could afford to, I guess a lot of the people that she had talked to, um, it was too pricey for her. So I was starting to think about, well, you know, honestly, Yes, spiritual practitioners are great, and I'm talking myself out of a job here, but that's okay because when I worked as a tutor, my goal was to work myself out of a job. It's like you don't need practitioners to be leaning on them all the time. You need a practitioner maybe here and there to kind of boost you in seeing that you have the understanding that you can do it yourself. Anyway, so in in this email, I, I replied back and I thought, you know, the best the best practitioner is the Christ, is Christ consciousness, and that's free. And the Christ, I mean, I love Mary Baker Eddy's definite one. She has many different definitions of the Christ, but one of the things that she says that I love so much is that it is the divine influence, that the Christ is the divine influence ever present in human consciousness. Isn't that great? The divine influence ever present in human consciousness. So all we have to do is tune into Christ consciousness and we have our answer. And that's free, it's free. Um, one of the other things she says is that it's the divine message from God to men speaking to the human consciousness. So there's always this sense that the Christ, truth consciousness, is that bridge between the divine and the human. It's that bridge in thought it's that it's that thing, that inspiration, that idea, that angel message that comes to us that brings us the inspiration that lifts our human consciousness into the realm of knowing what spiritually is already true. And that Christ consciousness, that Christ truth consciousness is free. You don't have to pay for it. So, <laughs> so here's the part that I thought was kind of cool. This was my little inspired moment. I was thinking, you know, there are so many times we get ourselves into a place where we want to call for help. We want to call the mentor, the practitioner, the spiritual teacher, whoever, and we pay lots of money to get the new ideas so that we can sort of level up in our lives and level up in our understanding of things. And we are willing to pay that because that is the desire and that's what we want. So here's a question. Why don't we pay that up front, how often, if we had to, if we had a choice, if, if you were going up to a smorgasbord of ideas, of thoughts that are coming to you during the day, and you had to buy every thought that you took in to your consciousness to sort of actively work with during the day, if you had to purchase every thought and every idea, I guarantee you, we would all choose the good ones. <laughs> we would not be choosing the thoughts that say, I'm sick, I'm lonely, I'm depressed, you can see me sinking. You know, I'm weighed down, I'm burdened, I'm stressed. We would purchase the ideas that are telling us we're healthy, we're full of purpose, we're God's perfect children. We have every intelligent idea that we need to move forward and be purposeful in our lives and have the life that we want. If we had to buy every thought, if we had to put money down on the table for every thought that we take in, we would buy the good ones. So that's the thought, I'm, that's what I'm leaving you with today. This is my gift to you tonight, is to say, when the suggestions of ideas come to us, when the smorgasbord of ideas are presented to us throughout our day, and it happens nonstop throughout the day, ask yourself, would I pay for this, th would I pay for this idea? Is this worth something to me? Is this worth paying for? Because we can either pay, metaphorically speaking, for the negative thoughts now, and then actually pay for the spiritual practitioner later to get us out of the mess. Or we can, metaphorically speaking, pay and purchase only the good thoughts now, and then we won't have to hire the spiritual practitioner later because we've already kept our thought clear. We've kept our house, it's like hiring the person to come clean our house later. You know, if you don't make a mess in the first place, you don't need to, you don't, don't need to pay the person to come clean it up. So that's my thought. It's my little cosmic moonstruck slap to you this evening. All right, I love you guys. It is, um, it is really nice to be here, and I really do appreciate 
I appreciate you watching and I appreciate you sharing and I love all your comments. I'm just having such, so much fun interacting with y'all. With y'all. I'm not from Texas, but I just like the phrase. All right. Love you. Have a good evening and I will talk to you soon.